All right, Spyro, brace yourself. Did, did it work? Well, since Dr. Cortex mutated me, pretty much all of my abilities and senses are enhanced. Considering we're both there and here, uh, yeah, I'd say it worked. Don't you know what this means, buddy? It means we've gone back to the past. That sounds wrong. So crash, mate. <laughs> While we've got a second here, what do you know about Wumpin' Puzzle Boxes? So this could really take me back to the dawn of time? There, fixed. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that crazy kangaroo sent us home before we got any info out of him. I, I knew this was a bad idea. I just hope in all the time we spent in the past, we didn't make too many changes. Too many changes to what? Oh, oh no! You're not supposed to be here! Do you have any idea what could happen now that we've changed the past? Dude, look around you. We're totally fine. Yeah, mate, don't sweat it. Plus, now I can see the future. It's not that far in the future, so don't expect any major differences. Dude, who turned the lights off on the Skylands? We did. By pulling Crash out of his timeline, we created an alternate dark future. This is the butterfly effect I was talking about. Butterflies did this? I've always hated those mangy little pests. Okay, so your little theory was right. How do we fix it? We have to open another wormhole and send Crash back to his timeline. Then it'll be like nothing ever happened. Extreme second wormhole! All right, gents. Time to send me back to the before this time. I think that's even worse than yours. This is all our fault. This alternate universe is what you helped us prevent from occurring. But since we took you away from there, the Skylanders failed. Great. So now we're stuck in this nightmare version of the Skylands. No academy, no sunlight, and with the way our luck's been going, I'm guessing no vending machines. No, there's one right there. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I hate this place! <laughs>